ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದು ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದಿರಾಧಿಕರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪದೂಶ್ಚಿಂದುಶ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನಿ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋಕರೋತಿಚಾಲೂಲ ಹೇತಿಗಿರಿ ಯಕ್ಕಿ ಪಾತನಿ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬಿಂದಾವೈತು ಸಿದ್ಧಿಯಾವೈಕೇಶ ನ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸ್ವತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನೈ ಮನೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದರ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಭಿಷ್ಟೂಹ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಿಂಚಿನು ತೀರ್ಥಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪುನೋತಪಾಲಭವಾಭೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರಣಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತಗಮಿಗೋದೂಷ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮೈ ಕದಾ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತವಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರವಕ್ತ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತವಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರವಕ್ತ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಹುಜೋ ಕನುಕಾವದಾಥೋ ಶಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರು ವಿಜಭರು ಯುಗಧಾರುಪಾಲು ಬಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿ ದಿಬ್ಬರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಟ ಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗುಮದಾಪುಹಾರ ವರಾನುಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಕ್ಷಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬಿಪಿಂಗವಹಂ ಭಜ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಮನು 
सानम सहस्रेशु कशी जदति सिद्ध जततमो विषि ध्यान कशीत मम व्यक्ति तत्व मनुस्वान सहस्रेशु शत्रुज मनुस्सान सहस्रेशु कशी जदति सिद्ध जततामोपि सिद्ध्यान कचित मम व्यक्ति तत्व गौर्य गोष्ठीपति गौर्य गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपात परमंश जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट दैट वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट दैट इन इन्फिनिटी ब्रह्मांड जस्ट बाई गेटिंग इन टू द साइकल ऑफ बर्थ एंड डेथ इन्फिनिटी टाइम्स मे बी इन द लाइफ ऑफ सम वन हु इज वेरी लक्की दैट प्योर गुरु वैष्णो दे आर गेटिंग द एसोसिएशन एंड आफ्टर दैट ओनली दैट दे कैन गेट द एब्सोल्यूट मंगल दैट पैथवे इज ओपन फॉर दैम भगवान इन गीता ऑल्सो इन श्री गीता ही स्पीकिंग टू अर्जुन दैट इज गिविंग इंस्ट्रक्शन टू अर्जुन दैट ओ अर्जुन फर्स्ट थिंग इज दैट दैट इफ यू विल टेक इंटेलिजेंस विद माई इट इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल इवन दैट शंकर भगवान ऑल्सो हु इज काम जय फ्री ऑफ कामा दैट हु इज मृत्युंजय फ्री ऑफ डेथ This same Shankar Bhagwan also he can't even uh, get indulged with Maya at all. This kind of power this Maya Devi is having that Bhagwan himself speaking this point to Arjun. Mama Maya duratya. Mami bhaje prapadanti Maya me tam thakanti. Hamara charan that onto my lotus feet who are actually sharnagat. That hundred percent they are sharnagat. So so surrendered. then that only he can get out of the maya my maya devi is getting rid of that special specific jiva mami bhi mami bhaje prapadante maya metam taranti prapadante prapadante that prakishta rupe that on to the lotus feet of uh, my lotus feet who is actually taking shelter and who is taking sharanagati 100% and is thinking he is of himself nothing is there and his heart is free from every false ego that is actually called sharanagati surrender that if you are getting indulged with maya fighting with maya then it is not a normal thing you gonna get you will get lost from maya nobody can uh, nobody can victory over maya nobody can compete with maya at all nobody can get in fighting with maya and they can get victory over maya it's not like that up till now nobody has got uh, victory over maya only and only that those who have are sharnagat on to the lotus feet of bhagwan those pure devotees just by taking their shelter only them only they can get victory over maya otherwise other can't get a victory at all otherwise that in the vishaya of hari bhajan specifically that is just one kind of joking nowadays in the modern civilization what is hari bhajan that what is hari bhajan we are actually all busy in eating what is eating It, that just for a sense of gratification by our eyes we are seeing all dirty things by our ears we are just uh, foul all material things all foul things you are seeing and all foul things you are hearing this is our actual conception now we are all the time busy in that only we are all actually busy in uh, bhojan bhojan means eating not in bhajan bhojan means that just for our own sense gratification that that for our eyes just to see nice nice things just to see, for the ears the actual uh, uh, eating is to hear different different things so that's why in context to this that in the yog shastra already it is written there it is mentioned in the yog shastras previously in the first context it is written this our ragunath das goswami pad that uh, about man shuddhi how to clear your heart how to purify your heart that man shiksha in man shiksha means that to purify your heart completely from maya man shiksha means to give instruction to your mind so that it can get purified so that we can just instruct our mind in the right pathway just to do hari bhajan apart from that no thing no duty we have to perform 
any jeevas no duty is there apart from hari bhajan to perform hari bhajan that is a top most duty that we need to understand that is manasiksha so that's why the in the yog shastra is already it is written if if your eating is pure then automatically your mind is also pure if your mind is actually pure then all uh, foolish things can't come inside your mind and heart your mind and heart will be calm and quiet and lot of things you can just uh, uh, get instructed in a lot of instructions regarding bhagwan and bhagwat tattva otherwise it is not at all possible any how it is not at all possible to instruct your mind apart from this in the kirtan also it is written very nicely in kirtan also it is written very nicely there in kirtan it is written that our own sense organs that our sense organs we just narottam das thakur in kirtan actually writing this point that our sense organs we need to have to we have to indulge them in seva anyhow like our amrish maharaj ji tamam is actually whole sense organs he is actually using it for bhagwat seva he is actually trying to apply it in bhagwat seva and the navvida bhakti he so that he can use it for nine folds of bhakti completely he can by body speech and mind that's why raghunath das ko swami pad in mana shiksha he is actually writing here so that we can instruct our mind in that right pathway to instruct mind that to get krishna shiksha instructions regarding krishna seva that's it that to instruct mind is to give instructions regarding krishna seva that is the actual instruction to control your mind otherwise nothing is there narottam das thakur also writing in this context that how many how much sense organs we are having that according to our sense organs whatever kind of kaam krodh lobho mad matsa this five kind of diseases matsa that application we cannot apply in krishna seva at all but other four we can apply in krishna seva kaam krodh lobho mad we can just apply it in krishna seva means that by just applying it in krishna seva our own material sense or organs will get engaged in krishna seva and in english there is one saying in english this saying i have already heard in childhood is a devil's workshop jo those that that mind in and in that consciousness no engagement is there only empty uh, mind it is just to take uh, nice food and just rest nicely just to eat sleep and drink that's it that which are if it's coming that propa speaking this in bengali if this condition is coming then it is very very difficult to control your mind very impossible up till that we our own material sense organs our mind body intelligence even our false ego also we will be false ego actually is very bad yes its ego is bad but this aprakritam kar is very good like hanuman ji speaking that i am the actual das of ram it's very very much important if ankar tatva is not there then relationship won't stay at all that kind of relationship with bhagwan is ankar that you are my bhagwan and i am your servant this kind of uh, pure false pure pure ego is required if this ego is not there then everything is useless that all our material sense organs if you are using it for krishna seva then it is not a normal thing at all this is not a normal thing not ordinary at all only ambrish maharaj in the life of ambrish maharaj we can see ंगमे 
this whole all material sense organs by because if you will not be engaging your sense organs for krishna seva if you are unable to um, apply it in krishna seva then definitely you can understand that your material sense organs will definitely will cheat you they will cheat you if your sense organs that mind body intelligence everything false ego if you will not be using for krishna seva if you are unable to use that for krishna seva then these same sense organs will definitely gonna cheat you and throw you away in maya that same sense organs will cheat you they will give you cheating they will cheat you and it will just uh, uh, drown you in the ocean of material misery about that that devahuti ma- mother he is actually speaking to kapil ji Bhago- kapil ji maharaj bhagwan kapil he is speaking to bhagwan kapil that these material sense organs are all cheating me that i thought that okay let them provide whatever they are giving let us give them their respective things to them that whatever respective uh, uh, wishes they are having i have to fulfill but after that i thought that this kind of wish wish fulfilling is not at all it's continuously going on these wishes are not at all getting uh, stopped and these are actually putting me in the in the ocean of material misery full of sorrow and where i should go i am just going into hell so if you can save me you can save me otherwise i am going to hell that's it lot of the condition is very worst pralad maharaj also giving one example in context to this that this shatpatni six kind of wives if in the life of someone having more than one wife lot of wives are there then one wife she will just pull pull you here and the other will pull you in the next direction so you she, she will be speaking you stay with me and the other will speak she you stay with me so this is the condition <laughs> so six wives will be pulling you from six condition six directions that grahan is actually just putting me other direction eyes are pulling me from other direction of all the all the directions i am getting uh, pulled the tongue the ears are pulling different different directions so where to go so this is in this condition jeevatma definitely that death apart from that nothing will come it means death means that that atma will fall down his consciousness will go down death is this word is not at all applicable anyhow but it means that the atma will fall down the consciousness will fall down degradably down kapil ji maharaj also bhagwan kapil speaking to mother devahuti that you see that what kind of association you are doing that account that kind of association without association nobody can stay without association nobody can stay maybe inside your heart you are doing association or maybe externally you are doing association but association is important without association nobody can stay that only bhagwan if you and guru vishnu if you are doing association then it is perfect association uh, that is actually told a different point but other association if you are doing and then this association that this association only that association what you are doing that different different kind of association that same association is actually just attracting you is going towards that direction otherwise no other point will just attract you apart from association that what association you are doing na this definitely going to attract you just can it attract you from one birth to other it will just throw you in that just by kicking you and will throw you from one birth to another and if you will just uh, uh, you will uh, not at all do association it is not at all impossible because without association nobody can stay maybe physically they can do association or mentally they can do association without association nobody can stay at all kapil ji maharaj speaking that that association which is uh, just will attract you towards material objects that association which will just uh, attract you towards material uh, 
a sansar then it is very much dangerous you need to avoid that this kind of association if slightly if you can with sweet diversion it will just take sweet turn or diversion towards krishna it will like a sweet turn or diversion towards pure guru vaishnav if you are doing that that pure guru vaishnav then it will uh, bear you the topmost fruit then you will become nishang mean nishang means that you will just get victory over prakriti that whatever kind of uh, different uh, gunas of prakriti you can get out of the influence of material modes of nature very easily otherwise nobody have and no but for nobody it is imp- is possible to go out of that very very surprising thing is is to hear that's why the prabhupad used to speak now you tell me that who who are actually just putting their efforts from their heart they are actually putting efforts for bhagavat seva you tell me just to get siddh to get siddhi who are actually making efforts who are making all efforts to get siddhi that even millions and millions of persons you are jeevas you are seeing maybe one rare person you can get that is also a doubt but still if this you one kind of person you are getting out of that those who are actually putting efforts maybe someone one maybe one bhagwan keh rahe bhagwan speaking that they can understand me very rare one person can understand my tatva in complete that as actual harikatha nobody is here to understand and listen that actual harikatha in my life i was now up till now i haven't find one person in the spiritual world that brahmachari sanyasi is getting into the uh, that uh, spiritual life transcendental life to realize that tatva gyan who are actually making efforts i haven't find even a single person up till now maybe his memory is very good he can just memorize very nicely and he can just speak but in this material world just to get inside this material world that to just get involved in that bhagavat seva in this material world just to get out of this material world that kind of effort they are actually putting from inside their heart no person even now up till now i have got who we uh, normally if you can speak that in seva that by mobile can be used for seva and all the other time you just need to separately put your mobile at one place at least you can do hari naam that shastra vichar you can hear and speak and those who are not that time also i was speaking that this uh, heroin if you are taking that kind of drowsiness what is putting it is more dangerous this uh, mobile is that yesterday I, that day i was actually speaking about it so much dangerous this mobile is that you can't even imagine at all that the actual drowsiness created by heroin you can just get rid of that there is some medication for that but just for this medication this to get rid of mobile this is only transcendental normal person a bus normal thing person can't uh, he can't uh, leave how he will become intelligent when he will become devotee when it will be done when he is actually born immediately after birth he is getting mobile in his hand even 6 months 8 months 1 year okay after that mobile is given to his hand maybe 1 to 2 years he is getting mobile in his hand and now what you can teach him you tell me that also is he is definitely you can get the advantage of mobile but who is actually doing that very very difficult to get that so it means that bhagwan speaking that in order to just understand me whatever kind of efforts one person one jeeva is putting in order to know me in complete in toto it is very almost nil that person is maybe he is there but is very rare you can't find it percentage is very less that according to the tatva if they can understand me that kind of person is very very rare you can find but uh, actual vichar is that that external whatever pers- that vidya that uh, money poor by this kind of conditions we cannot uh, identify that he is a devotee 
these external factors won't be the proper speaking these external factors by that we cannot understand who is vaishnav who is pure devotee vishnu chakravarti was also speaking this point that no prema is there inside the heart of anyone that pichil means that he is having very sleepy mood his mind is very sleepy very maybe one kirtan is actually doing and he is getting nice uh, some uh, tears in his eyes for sometimes and uh, that by getting the tears if you are seeing that oh he is a very nice devotee and you can uh, find it very difficult to understand that who is a pure devotee it is very very difficult that if some tears are flowing down his cheeks just sometimes if you can just identify that he is a pure devotee then you can't uh, then i will speak one example so that you can uh, make that who is a pure devotee that pundarik vidyanadi that who is externally just by he staying and living and eating just by seeing that you can see that he is one kind of big king pundarik vidyanadi if you externally see him physically then just by seeing his external activities eating sleeping and drinking just you can see that he is a very big king he is not a vaishnav at all definitely he is a king so much opulent mood he is having so much ego he is showing externally so much nice status he is kingly status he is having but that your vichar is totally wrong that mukund gadadhar pandit actually just met with gadadhar pandit mukund and mukund just take gadadhar pandit to pundarik vidyanidhi and gadadhar pandit ji just came with the mukund and let us see that who let us watch a vaishnav and when they went there what happened that when gadadhar pandit saw externally that this one kind of leela gadadhar pandit is actually doing so that he is not a non ordinary human being in order to just give us some kind of instructions he is doing this leela he is seeing that he is a good vaishnav gadadhar pandit is thinking what is this externally oh, he is looking his uh, external factors that or oh, he is vaishnav what kind of vaishnav he is how what kind of vaishnav he is pundrik vidyanadi like this conception just came inside his mind that so externally if you that find finding external factors you cannot make that he is actually a vaishnav bhakti vinod thakur or gaur kishor das baba that both of them their viragya is one and the same but externally external activities you can see that bhakti vinod thakur you can't see that inside his heart that viragya is there lot of persons are also speaking like this that gaur kishor das baba ji with their vairagya is more top are what kind of vairagya bhakti no thakur is having bhakti no thakur is just one kind of grass they are actually seeing that but they are foolish number 1 they are so foolish that they can't understand that what is the definition of vairagya that gaur kishor das baba ji maharaj and shila sachidanand bhakti no thakur mahashay they are inside their heart that the same vairagya is there that no different vairagya is there at all no different two differences there that the vairagya is all the same in both of them if externally external factors just by seeing his external activities that uh, name fame position status you are seeing if you are actually finding that uh, you are making this which are inside your heart that he can't be a vaishnav no vairagya is there inside his heart he is not a vaishnav he is not a pure devotee he is not at all uh, intelligent he is not at all it is very much difficult to identify a pure devotee it's not at all possible at all it's impossible to identify a pure devotee why because all those uh, enjoyers those who are all the time busy in sense uh, sensual enjoyment all those material people and the tyagis they are all the time busy in krishna seva this kind of material thing just material uh, enjoyment is the actual cause of sorrowness just by s- understanding this they are actually wish they are just accepting it as a poison this material wish and bhogi and tyagi both of them that in with both of them nobody both of them can't do seva of bhagwan at all they are not at all eligible to do seva not not bhogi neither bhogi nor tyagi why because in both of them bhagwan in order to satisfy bhagwan they don't have this kind of uh, efforts they are not at all putting to satisfy bhagwan inside their heart to satisfy bhagwan they don't have any kind of uh, uh, efforts they are not at all have putting to just satisfy bhagwan that mayavadi people also 
that apart they are just by rejecting all the material things at last that topmost uh, uh, vastu object they are actually kicking away bhagwan just by rejecting all the material things that topmost param vishay that topmost attractive object bhagwan they are just uh, putting it away they are thinking all those mayavadis in vedant in the vedant in the vedant you always go on reading that and just uh, uh, concentrate on and brahma kalu means nischitame but definitely definitely you just need to read vedant and he is just you need to reject all the material things and what you will do by rejecting all the material things you can't even reject all the material things at all at an instant how you can reject the material things you just need to wear cloth you have to go to the market to buy something you have to speak with the persons you have to take prasadam you have to go stool and urine you have to pass everything you have to do so how you are actually going outside that is all actually kind of kriya karma all these karma it comes in the category of karma it is not at all possible to leave that no so that's why but mayavadis their vichar is like that whatever you will be taking very less that so much viragya will be doing you will be taking a ni- rest nice less sleep but bhagwan is actually strictly prohibiting all these things bhagwan actually speaking that that what which are the prabhupada always used to give non nirvinno nati shakto bhakti yoga asso siddhi non nirvinno nati shakto nirvinno bhi nahi vishesh you don't need to get detested from this material things neither you are not at all getting attracted also towards the material things at all and you don't have de- detest detestfulness and nor attraction that for them bhakti yoga is actually possible to get siddhi in their life for mayavadi is their vichar is like this vedant bhakti sadaram ko vin bandhan khol bhagya bandhan One time, Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when Mahaprabhu didn't went to Varanasi. Before that, in Varanasi, one news was spread that from South India, that in Varanasi, each and everywhere that news was spread that Shri Chaitanya one person, when nice person, one person is he is actually a magician. He knows how to do magic. He is actually speak doing such a magic that even Sar Bhom Bhattacharya, the big Maya Vadi, he is also getting converted into a devotee. That he is also getting into that uh, uh, in his uh, magic of Sri Chaitanya. So Sar Bhom Bhattacharya was so much intelligent and so much big Maya Vadi. He is that Vidwan, that kind of intelligent. We cannot use it for Maya Vadis, but we still what to do? We can't speak other word. Maharaj, so so much power he is having that even whole India, even I can speak that over the whole earth, that is the topmost Maya Vadi is Sarvam Bhattacharya. So much power he is having, so much topmost Maya Vadi which are he is actually established in. So Prakashan and Saraswati Pad, when he is actually he haven't Mahaprabhu didn't went to Varanasi before that Prakashan and Saraswati actually speaking. that time at that time prakashan and saraswati he is writing one letter and he is writing in that chaitanna chaitanna that you in order to just get control over chaitanna you see how much audacity is having that bhagwan shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu he is actually speaking chaitanna and he is writing one letter to him are how much you don't have any varage you are eating so much nice prasadam and you are doing actually dancing how you can get how you will do bhajan ha eh? like this bhajan is done he is writing one letter to mahaprabhu and this letter he is actually just getting handed to advait gosain advait gosain just uh, got this letter and just by re- reading the letter advait gosain getting very much astonished and just by so much instruction uh, you have to do this you have to do that like this it is written and then advait gosain i am not at madhvat gosain i am not at all feeling any kind of angry mood with this mood you have to do this like this you don't do like that pra- prakashan just instructing mahaprabhu 
and we are actually following Prabhupada, Bhakti Nur Thakur and our Guru Var. And apart from that, I am not at all listening anyone. Apart from that, no one I am actually listening at all. Maybe they can understand this point. So there actually he is writing that how you can do Vairagya, eh? that even in your Sampradaya, you are getting the uh, Diksha from our Sampradaya, no Vairagya you are having at all. You are just taking nice, nice prasadam, eh? you are taking dancing here and there. How, what kind of Vairagya it is? Like Mayavadis, that our Ramchandra Puri, he is a Mayavadi. He actually is just doing sashan on Mahaprabhu. What kind of uh, greediness he is he's having that sannyasi. Hein? So greedy is this sannyasi. Hein? Taking sweets. Hein? Just uh, in the night time he is taking sweets. And Mahaprabhu is not at all speaking anything at all. Adhyat Gosai then to Prakashan and Saraswati that his letter in return he is actually writing one letter to Prakashan and Saraswati in that letter that actual conclusion is that that the lion that that in one year the lion is actually doing association of she lion only for one in the, in, once in a year only once in a, and what he's eating he's all the time eating meat fresh meat only one time is getting association of Shiloin in a year. Paira means that prison, one prison, one pigeon. And at the same time, one pigeon is there. What, and he actually is speaking the reason why Adhyat Gosai is actually writing this point very nicely. And he is not at all speaking at all. Why? Because just by eating very less and very less sleeping, there is no point at all. That Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in his Sampradaya, that all Nitya Kirtan dancing and swimming, even swimming also to do that, is all actually bhajan. Just to take prasadam, that is also full anand, that is also actually bhajan. That becomes Krishna Seva. If you are actually making this vichar, then you can understand that Brahman is that, that devotee is that, that vichar I will come definitely. That uh, external activities just by seeing that, you cannot identify that he is a pure devotee. It is very difficult to identify them as pure devotees. You, uh, you cannot understand them at all. Up till this point, that the devotees, they are external, external, they are actually getting a birth in the outcast family, their opulence and their their beauty, beautifulness, their education, nothing is there. Whatever is actually doing comparison regarding, according to that, their Vaishnavism, that if by this, if you are making one vichar regarding their Vaishnavism or Vaishnav, then you will definitely gonna get screwed. You are getting, you will be getting cheated by that. If you will be just seeing all these things and you are making this vichar, then you will just get cheated by that. You cannot understand and you cannot identify that, that who is a Vaishnav, by all these factors. You can see the case of Amrish Maharaj, you can see Janak Maharaj, so much topmost web of they are having, but inside their heart, that so much topmost Tattva Gyan is there inside their heart. That big, big Rishi Munis also, that uh, Rishi Munis, everyone that kind of Tattva Gyan, they want to attain that. So externally, just by seeing that, don't make any kind of uh, decision or definitely you got to, got to get cheated by that, 100%. There is possibility to get cheated by getting, by seeing their external uh, behavior and factors. The devotees by their external vichar, it's already written. Externally, there is lot of 
that where whether they are getting external sorrow but even that in a spiritual and transcendental platform it is topmost anand lot of uh, proofs are there written in the shastras regarding vaishnav and their uh, identification as pure vaishnav lot of proofs are there so if you are making this vichar then you can understand to become a devotee is very much difficult and this uh, mind in order to instruct that ragunath das goswami pad is uh, in the first shloka he is actually speaking guru gosthi gosthal isu sujani bhu surgani samantri shinamni brajana vajuvo dand sarani sada dambhyam hitva kuru ratim apurvam atitaram mahe aye shantar bhatas chatvi ravi Yesterday we already discussed this point, all these points, that just by speaking Brahman, he is not at all Brahman. Yesterday I already told it this point, no? Vipraabdi saraguna jutat aravinda nabo padarvinda vimukhat sapacham varishtam Sapaj means those who are taking the flesh of a dog. That's what Sapaj means, that those who are taking the flesh of dog, that those who are Swapaj. Swa means those who are dog, Pach means eaters, those who are dog eaters, those who are actually doing the kitchen of the meat of dog, maybe they can take it raw also. That they are actually different, different kind of bheel, kartal, they are actually taking that different kind of dog flesh, they are taking it raw. So this is the example given. And that's why it is written. So this is the actual rules. Why? That their heart, body, mind, intelligence, that everything is actually surrendered onto lotus feet of Krishna, lotus feet of Krishna all, all the time. If they are, they are actually getting birth in the Chandal family, like Tirupun Alwar, that he is taking birth in Chandal family, just by getting his uh, uh, birth there, still he is getting the topmost attraction onto the lotus feet of Krishna Pad Padma. And if he is Brahman, and all kind of 12 qualities he is connected with. But inside his heart, that Shri Krishna Tattva, no kind of attraction and no kind of association he is actually feeling to do Krishna Seva. He is getting Vimuk means that who is for pure Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan, no kind of bhav is there. He is totally uh, Vimuk from that. That with 12 qualities actually connected with that. But externally, he is actually doing all Brahmanical qualities. But you can see that he is actually Shrishta, topmost, but he is not at all. Even that dog eater Brahmans, he is the, those people, they are more better than those Brahmans who are having full Vishnu Bhakti inside their heart. So that is the actual rules. That Brahman who is with 12 qualities is actually connected with that but no kind of asta or bhakti is having with for Vishnu bhakti then he is not at all Brahman that he not even himself he can purify him that all pure non-devotees the non-devotees cannot purify them also
मन्ने तदर्पित मनोवचने इतासो प्राणम बनाति साकुलम न तु हुरिमान that for himself only he can't purify him and those that one when vaishnav is getting birth this whole family will just get uh, purified automatically if one vaishnav is getting birth in that particular family that whole uh, family will just get purified by by getting the birth of that pure vaishnav बंसों को बड़ा जो भी है आप सो व्हाट एवर द केस नाउ इफ यू मेक द विचार दैट जस्ट बाय स्पीकिंग भू सुरगन रघुनाथ दास को स्वयं बात इज एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग अबाउट वर्णाश्रम निष्ठ दो आर वैष्णव दैट इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द वैष्णव दैट ब्राह्मण गण इज एक्चुअली इंडिकेटेड दे आर एक्चुअली एक्सेप्टेड that bhu surgan bhu surgan means bhu means earth and varnashram who are actually falling those brahmans having that vaishnav etiquette that bhagwan in gita also speaking chaturvarna maya system guru karma vibhag sar tasya kartaram upi vidimam akartaram apayam jaisa swabhav hai like what kind of behavior you are having according to that according to that vichar you can make the vichar according to that you can make vichar previously it was like this only it was not like that the actual son of brahman will be brahman only like rishabh ji maharaj that in his uh, family the his first son that is actually whose name is bharat varsh his bharat name is bharat maharaj and the other nine yogendras they are actually made nav yogendra nine yogendras came out of that and after that the remaining that become karmakandi brahmins some le- last of the sons become karmakandi brahmins they become karmakandi brahmins and like this lot of examples are there that vishwamitra his behavior is just like khatriya that vishwamitra huni that external behavior is like a kshatriya so a lot of disparities we can see bhakto the devotee is that he is not at all uh, bhogi neither neither bhogi nor tyage only and only just for the satisfaction of bhagwan he is actually just having that uh, effort he is putting for bhagwat seva that's it all the time just to satisfy bhagwan how to satisfy bhagwan that is his only target that in the life of those that the devotee skip of devotees just to do the seva of bhagwan dham to do this kind of seva of dham naam bhagwan parikar that is getting inside their heart he is actually a pure devotee so 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 this uh, here all these bhu surgan they are actually varnashram nishtha why because varnashram dharma that kind of nishtha if not at all there then you cannot count that at all that in the life of those that varnashram dharma there is no kind of confidence in varnashram dharma at all for them no no we can't do anything in that at all varnashram that varnashram those who are actually getting nishtha in varnashram that those who are vaishnav dharma instructions that kind of brahman gyan they are actually called kanishth Bra- kanishth brahmans why because they are krishna kanishth bhagavat means because in madhyam vaishnav and the actual uh, lakshan of kanishth bhakti is
This is this about Bhusurgan. I have just uh, given some kind of clarity. I can just speak. By Bhusurgan, what is Bhusurgan? They are actually under Kanishth Bhagavat. You can count them. After that, here actually one point is coming. Samantra means Namani. Namani means that in name, in Nam, that in Bengal is Bengali speaking Namete. It means that it's the seventh case ending is used here. That Samantra, what kind of mantra? Which mantra you are actually indicating here? That mantra that is through authentic channel. That mantra with the authentic channel, that kind of mantra is coming. We have got that from Sadguru. And Mahaprabhu actually speaking this point. Like if this vichar is already there, that even the life of someone, only Harinam they have got, some Mahapurush they have got Harinam. And after that, if in Harinam, that topmost, 100-100% confidence they are having on Harinam, the topmost confidence they are having on Harinam, then in this life only, by Harinam only, they can get Siddhi. Why? Because in their life, that Harinam, that 100% faith is have, they are having in Harinam. So, no, because from apart from Harinam, they don't require required anything. This kind of confidence is not a normal or ordinary uh, point. Very, very lucky who is, he can get this kind of uh, uh, luck in his life. The Bhakti Mataku writing in Kirtan, that in all four directions, I am not at all seeing anything. Very nice Kirtan. With very topmost luck from the previous sanskar, if it's very good, that with you have 100% confidence on Harinam, that everything is Harinam. Harinam is actually Bhagwan. For them, Bhakti Vinod Thakur actually speaking regarding them, okay, that Diksha is not at all required for them. That Diksha, if they can't take also, still it is okay. If they haven't taken Diksha, still everything will be done. Because with Harinam, everything will be done. But like this, for everyone it is not at all possible, in everyone's case. That kind of, that's very, very rare. That out of millions and millions of that, you can get only one. That's why Raghunath Das Goswami Path, that in Manasiksha, according to that, that Guru, on the lotus feet of Sadguru, you just have to take the shelter, that you just need to take, that mantra you have need to take from that Sadguru. Mantra means that Krishna mantra. Just by speaking mantra, just understand that Krishna mantra. Krishna mantra means that uh, Vishnu mantra can be there. Krishna mantra. But in a, according to our Gaudiya Machar, that is actually Krishna mantra. That's why Mahaprabhu actually speaking this only to us. That only Mahaprabhu speaking, actually speaking up this point and speaking to us. So it means that on just to get the lotus feet of Krishna, um, Harinam is actually more than sufficient. But in, in order to get out of this bonded condition, it means that Samantha means that which Guru you want to the lotus feet of that Guru, that topmost uh, confidence you are having that he can just save you. Anyhow, he can save me in any condition. Like Prabhupada actually just uh, writing that same Guru Pad Padma that I am doing self surrender, I have to do that. Those who can each and every point, he can just protect me in every condition. Any time and any how he gonna you're gonna take me to that transcendental world and he gonna protect me from all these material miseries. That onto the lotus feet of same Gurudev, that Atma Nivedan and Atma Samarpana, I am going to do that. That's it. 
by speaking some mantra that means that that mantra is actually indicating that krishna mantra it can be vishnu mantra but specifically here it is actually signified as krishna mantra by speaking some mantra if some person actually making this vichar that uh, there in four sampradaya any acharya any mantra you can take this can be done but specially ragunath das goswami pad actually speaking here that that this braj dham braj vasis all actually is getting picked up it means that rupanuga raganuga bhajan about that actually is being spoken that raganuga bhajan can't be done after in vrindavan only it will be done so if you can make this vichar just by speaking samant samantra means that close to guru dev what that krishna mantra you have got that kind of bhagavad mantra you just need to establish yourself in that hari naam just by speaking that just by speaking hari naam that radha kant govind krishna and more details if you can go that hari naam maha mantra that can that can bestow prema also in any condition to you you understand the point that this hari naam just by speaking that hari govind krishna everything it is there but that if you can make a proper uh, point you can understand it then hari naam means because mahaprabhu is speaking bahu kahe kahi laam ei maha mantra iha jap kiya sabe koriya nirvant he ye batai this actually told by mahaprabhu to hum log sochenge so we can uh, think that okay no problem the hari naam means that krishna govind radha kant maybe it is there but here hari naam means that mukhya naam that primary name is actually being done and uh, secondary name can also be there patit pavan par par akhilesh paramatma itadi ho sakta etc all these per secondary names can be there it can be there secondary names these are all indirect names secondary names and these are not at all primary names so samantra bolne se just by speaking swamantra means that krishna naam sadguru dev that sadguru dev Sadguru Dev, Bhagwan, what you have got from them? That Bhagwan and Sadguru, they are not different. That what you have got from Sadguru, Bhagwan, that mantra actually is called Krishna mantra. And Krishna mantra, and what from Krishna mantra, what you will get? That Krishna mantra will get you. Mahaprabhu himself speaking this point regarding Krishna naam. And now that Su mantra, that Sri Su Sam mantra, Sri naam ni means. that mantra that we have got from sadguru that krishna mantra definitely we have got from sadguru that kind of special discussion is there it is very much want to discuss guru goshthi goshthalay su sajan su jani bhu surgane tadi dekha ke dara just by uh, i have already just discussed it and raghunath das ko swami is not at all just uh, speaking about any other any other mantra ga, apart from krishna mantra other mantra ragunath das goswami is not at all indicating at all apart from krishna mantra so hari naam we can understand that that mahaprabhu that mantra is actually speaking this gaye gora madhur swar hai to hari naam that hari naam is topmost we can understand this by that and about mantra also if we are making this vichar that what mantra is there that is equivalent to guru sadguru and who is actually sadguru that is equivalent to mantra jo mantra hai that mantra that is actually guru and mantra and guru is not different from each other when bhagwan himself speaking when bhagwan himself speaking this point what actually bhagwan speaking आचार्य This 
this mantra that krishna mantra and that mantra is actually equivalent to guru and guru is actually equivalent to hari they are all non different tat all are single undivided tat in mantra and guru there is no difference at all that which is mantra that is guru and which is guru that is whole hari equivalent to hari that mantra is actually equivalent to guru and who is guru that is equivalent to hari and lot of vichar is there of the shastras as well in that when when at the time of doing anik if you are doing diksha taking diksha then krishna mantra you have got and you have to do anik and maha mantra you just need to perform that whatever you can do you can do krishna mantra means that you have taken diksha do you have diksha mantra with you and you did now definitely have to do that japa of that krishna mantra very carefully if someone can if someone will ask that in whose life this perfect mantra they have got that anik we are actually doing three times where we are speaking anik no what we are doing we are performing who is actually getting that perfection is in his life about that it is written that inside mantra your heart is actually going inside in absorbing mood completely and this uh, in that mantra is actually is getting absorbed inside your heart it means it's all the same at that time that just by doing japa of the mantra that mantra devta the presiding deity of the mantra that darshan you will get in your mind and definitely you can get uh, in uh, sakshat swarup also but still you are actually taking and uh, this mantra about that that purush charan etc a lot of vidhi is there if someone is performing that one maybe someone can perform or cannot nobody is there to perform purush charan is lot of vidhi is there for purush charan nobody is there to perform that that you have to do daily how much you have to give brahman bhojan prasadam to brahman and you have to do mantra up till this time you have to do the japa lot of rules and regulations in purush charan but on five important vishay you just need to be careful when at the time of doing the japa of mantra that in this five vishay these are major five parts which you need to be very careful and cautious whatever mantra you are actually performing or ja- doing japa there are five important points in that the first one is that mantra do you just be careful what i'm speaking that maybe i maybe i will not i haven't spoken about this anywhere else apart from now that the mantra that just to uh, think of the actual meaning of the mantra nowadays that the actual diksha prabhupada not used to speak that kind of diksha as diksha this is not at all called diksha the prabhupada speaking this that diksha is lo- lo- very very uh, serious points is there regarding diksha when the vigyan is actually getting uh, imbibed manifested inside your heart then only diksha is possible otherwise diksha is not at all possible at all that mantra after getting the mantra from sadguru that the mantra what is the meaning of the mantra means that that actually the actual uh, uh, gradation of the meaning inner meaning of the mantra that you are actually remembering that inside your heart inside your consciousness you are actually remembering that uh, the meaning of the mantra after that the second one is that which mantra you have got that whether you got the nandanandan mantra or uh, whether you are other krishna mantra you are getting ragunath das go swami pad according to his vichar definitely nandanandan krishna mantra is actually being uh, uh, included here because uh, this vichar won't go apart from outside that because we are only it it is not at all applicable outside at all only and only krishna mantra nandanandan krishna mantra you can ap- get uh, applied this kind of point not dwarkadish krishna not mathuradish krishna so at all so the that meaning of what is the inner meaning of the mantra you just uh, remembering that and um, what is the inner meaning of the mantra you just need to know that completely that is very much important to have that i'll give you one example regarding this 
when Bhagwan according to the will of Bhagwan Narad ji Maharaj is he is he is giving diksha mantra to Dhruv Maharaj that mantra diksha he has given to Dhruv Maharaj after that when Narad ji Maharaj is actually going away then you just start doing this mantra he is speaking to Dhruv and you can do this jap of mantra i am actually going then narad ji just going and immediately dhruv maharaj ji again calling gurudev oh gurudev narad ji oh gurudev you just do krip on me and you just tell me that this mantra what is the meaning of this mantra how i can understand the meaning that about which hari you actually have given me the mantra and you have given me to just recite that mantra what is the actual meaning of that mantra how actually this mantra looks like i haven't seen how hari looks like this hari how he looks like i haven't seen lot of things are there lot of features are there naraji maharaj with full topmost details about the actual darshan of bhagwan he has just given him just by speaking externally and now you just go on thinking of this just by seeing the doing the mantra automatically everything is done in that so that mantra you are doing that particular mantra that presiding deity of the mantra that adhishtatri devta that presiding deity of the mantra which you will be worshiping you will be getting darshan someone actually getting shakti mantra then definitely shakti devi she has he has to remember or she has to remember and ragunath das ko swami pad has just spoken here up till this point that apart from braj dham nothing is there what he is actually mentioning here only braj dham is mentioned by ragunath das goswami pad ragunath das goswami pad is not at all mentioning anything apart from that only braj bhumi so mantra that actual meaning inner meaning of the mantra just remembering that and just to do the dhyan of that uh, presiding deity of the mantra which you got which uh, demigod or which deity presiding deity you were actually doing mantra if you are doing that mantra years after years and i have got mantra but this mantra you don't know the meaning of the mantra you don't know the meaning and panchang we are actually speaking that with panchang if you are not at all doing mantra japa then this mantra won't give you any fruit but who will actually speak you this point someone won't won't speak you no that this panchang that with five ang if you are actually doing the japa of the mantra only then that mantra will get effective it will give you the actual fruit or of course that if you got from sadguru and if the disciple is also honest no duplicity is there then definitely these two conditions should be get fulfilled so the mantra the all inner meaning of the mantra you are remembering and kaam gayatri suppose you are getting so you are doing ka- kaam gayatri all the time but what is the meaning of that mantra kaam gayatri ashtadash akshar mantra dwadash akshar mantra gopal mantra everything what is the actual meaning of this mantra if you don't know then how what is the use of doing that mantra you tell me that is of no use at all and the actual presiding deity of the mantra definitely is there you just need to remember that while doing the mantra what mantra you have got from the sadguru you definitely some presiding deity must be there that presiding deity you just need to remember uh, it means that just by doing the mantra slowly steadily you have to remember that presiding deity of that mantra and all the time you are actually having darshan inside mentally inside your heart of that deity and the dhyan should be like that concentration that there should be no kind of disturbance there continuous uh, continuous darshan should be there continuous darshan no breakage should be there inside the darshan at all that continuously where there is no breakage at all that kind of mantra you just need to go on speaking like that all the time it is important okay so what to do that mantra jab for that these very important points are there which you need to remember and after that the third point is that mantra nyas is there that in on to the lotus feet of bhagwan we have already surrendered ourselves and that that bhagwan is our actual uh, treasure that is the actual mantra nyas that uh, some lot of nyas as there gopal mantra vishnu mantra lot of mantra the nyas means that you are doing dhyan of that particular mantra understood this nyas is very important that anganyas this kind of different nyasas there that first uh, the actual inner meaning of the mantra you have to remember and after that you have to remember the presiding deity of that particular mantra then after that mantra nyas you have to do that this is nyas what i already told you just to surrender everything to that uh, 
angani asis there that with full mind body and speech you are actually surrendering on to bhagwan that is mantra nyas and after that there are two points one is that that in bhagwan is my only maintainer and protector and he is actually my maintainer and he is my protector and each and every condition he is my protector he is the only protector of me that if bhagwan if he wants then i can in whatever condition i am put it into bhagwan definitely going to protect me if bhagwan i am not of bhagwan i don't have relationship with bhagwan and my surrender is not at all there then according to my karma fill what i am getting i will get that in that bhagwan is not at all having any role to play bhagwan himself speaking this to arjun in geeta that i am not at all actually taking भगवान दैट वॉट एवर सिंफुल एक्टिविटीज और गुड डीड्स इज भगवान इज नॉट एट ऑल टेकिंग इट एट ऑल भगवान हिमसेल्फ स्पीकिंग दैट आई एम नॉट एट ऑल भगवान इज स्पीकिंग ओनली वन थिंग and again what to speak but maybe so that's why the bonded jeevas actually and i am not at all taking any uh, neither i am taking sinful activity nor i am taking good deeds i am only speaking one thing mamekam sar that on to my lotus feet you are getting sharnagati but nobody is actually getting surrendered so what i can do nobody is getting surrendered on to my lotus feet that they are actually not listening to me what i am speaking so what i can do in that bhagwan speaking and each and every condition bhagwan will definitely protect me in each and every condition bhagwan gonna protect me that kind of confidence should be there all the time and what kind of bhav it is that bhaktivinoda thakur in kirtan has written this bhaktivinoda thakur already written in the kirtan what he is chesta balpati bharosha chhariya tumar ichcha achi nirbhar what bhaktivinoda thakur shown showing us here this in the kirtan aneko joto ne she sab damane chhariya chi asha ami anather nag भक्ति ठाकुर इन कीर्तन ही इज राइटिंग दिस सो लाइक दिस काइंड ऑफ रियलाइजेशन शुड बी देयर अदरवाइज दैट रघुनाथ दास को स्वामी पाद इज नॉट एट ऑल स्पीकिंग एनी रबिश और फुलिश थिंग्स that the from sadguru that kind of uh, top most uh, mantra be full of power that by which that material uh, bondage will definitely gonna break definitely it gonna break this is the power of that uh, mantra taken from sadguru that samantra by speaking this so lot of things it has i have already described and uh, i also want to speak this thing that in the shastra lot of vichar are there that pitama bhishma is uh, out of the 12 mahajans he is also speaking guru rupi avalitap sukarja tajyo majanato utpatho patibannasyo parityag vidhi ye batai this actually been spoken ye batai this actually been spoken jo guru that guru who according to the shastras is not at all uh, obeying the shastras he don't have any kind of vivek and that kind of gurudev if i will take him what will be the use by his mantra what i can do that uh, in the in that mantra no power is there at all by that mantra what i will do that's why in the shastras there are three things which are strictly prohibited i have already told you that first first is that in the sand that don't don't allow to uh, to bow one seat there 
in uh, a sand or a deserted area because it is all useless to bow a seed there in a desert area full of sand and and do uh, don't have any nishta no achran nothing is there he's hopeless person you are giving mantra to him nothing is there no achran is there to that person if you are giving mantra what is the use the because he is of no use he is totally material to give mantra to him that gurudev also definitely going to fall down that's why before giving diksha with full lot of vichar you just need to give lot of vichar you just need to make sure otherwise a lot of problems can come with full vichar you have to give the mantra So that guru who whose vichar achar nothing is there who don't know what to do what not to do no shastrik injunctions no idea is there about that his all foolishness is doing that's it that kind of guru you just need to kick him, kick him away that is the actual vidhi of the shastras just to throw that guru away that is very good otherwise if you will not throw him then that is very difficult for you very dangerous for you so that is the actual vidhan in the shastras to just throw that gurudev to just get not to get his association at all mukhopadishtena mantreno nirayam bajet punascha vidina grahe prashnam pat jeev goswami pad has written a lot of vichar that in the life of that person that those who have a lot of uh, disrespect for guru vaishnav that those who are speaking all rubbish about guru vaishnav maybe that next week i will be just uh, making this vichar in front of you jeev goswami pad speaking that that any acharya i know they are not at all actually believing this what i want to speak maybe bhagwan speaking here but they will not at all understand this point whatever kind of shastra praman you give them jeev goswami pad from the sandarbh next week i'll be discussing that i will show you that jeev goswami pad speaking you see that those guru vaishnav those who are doing ninda of guru vaishnav and they are disrespecting them for them in front of them if someone is getting mantra from them then that kind of mantra you just need to throw it away that guru vaishnav just by disrespecting them he actually wants to disrespect guru vaishnav or he already has just done uh, the disrespect of guru dev lot of time so that's why jeev goswami pad actually speaking in context to this that those who have done the disrespect of guru vaishnav definitely definitely they will fall down definitely they will fall down iska mantra mein mantro mein koi kaam nahi they don't have any kind of um, their mantra is just useless mantra without power his mantra won't work he is actually just fallen because he is just uh, because he has just disrespected guru vaishnav in his mantra there is no use of his mantra no power is there in his mantra at all punascha vidina avaishnava how he become a vaishnav he is actually vaishnav he is doing tilak mala he is actually is in role of acharya okay he has disrespected guru vaishnav na that's why definitely his, fo- his condition will get more and foreign fallen and because of his fallen condition that mantra in your life you will not at all get success at all you will not at all get success in your life nothing will happen by that mantra at all that he already is fallen because of his fallen condition there is no use of the mantra and no power is there in the mantra at all that for infinity time he will go to hell that is for sure it's written in the shastras so lot of uh, by speaking some mantra means that with sat guru that with durga mantra kali mantra is not like that that sadguru means that who is vaishnav that vaishnav guru is only sadguru no other guru is sadguru that if the previous acharya his uh, condition is fallen his correct his characterless because baldev vidya bhushan ji just be careful on this point that emotion is not devotion emotion is not devotion emotion can give you 
devotion is not devotion kyun why kyunki emotion can give Emo- emotion but devotion can give you promotion guru ji bolte guru dev always used to speak this point is avastha mein that in this condition no nothing we can do at all sab kuch sunna hai everything we just need to hear very carefully asad guru and with sad guru if we got the mantra then we have to throw that that whose character etiquette aacharan is useless that mantra is actually useless mantra and this will not be considered as diksha at all your diksha will not be considered as true diksha whatever be the case you understand the point that previously it was good and now he has got into fallen condition still you just need to <coughs> just need to throw that away that uh, again you have to take the diksha mantra so this kind of vichar is there shila ji ko sohi baat speaking uh, top, very openly in front of us samantra bolne se by speaking samantra jivit mantra that jivit mantra which has full power inside that that about three things i have told you that in the desert in the in sand if you will just don't try to bow a seed of bhakti inside that and second second point is that jo that registan mein bad apatra apatra that who don't have any kind of right candidate agar if agar vichar kar if you are making a uh, nice vichar that vichar up, will go up till what point because who is the actual candidate and who is not a candidate who will make this vichar that hari bhakti vilas nobody will take it nobody is taking the vichar of hari bhakti vilas at all bhakti mein thakur speaking that hari bhakti vilas in that everything is written but nobody actually accepting that bhakti mein thakur also just speaking this and becoming unhappy maybe in hari bhakti vilas it's being totally told there completely but nobody wants to accept that now what is what to do it means that just by get those who are not at all eligible that gurudev who is already fallen that the person the disciple who will be taking that uh, mantra he will also go to hell that both of them that guru and disciple will go to hell because both are actually in fallen condition then or and that uh, don't give your daughter to a person who is napunsak uh, who is neither a man nor a woman who is actually not at all eligible to speak as he is a man or a woman he is not at all a man he is napunsak without any power without any virja that who don't have any kind of uh, humanity or who is not at all having their uh, gen- gender identity that to give her a daughter to give him a daughter that uh, it is of no use that the dad daughter's uh, wife will give it to her then uh, her condition will also get worst and no kind of uh, possibility of getting a children of get be getting a children you will get no progeny you will get because it is strictly prohibited for one, one is that in the desert don't give any seed in board any seed into the desert or uh, it's useless second is that uh, in those who are not at all eligible don't take mantra from them and if we make this vichar in that in kirtan in very nicely it is written that this in godamat is actually applicable in godamat but they are all those mahapurush those for only vaishnav normal acharya it is not at all applicable at all for normal ordinary uh, ordinary acharya it is not at all applicable so guru dev actually is take seeing me in a my fallen condition this path is this word is there no fallen condition when you are getting into that he is a fallen person that if you are actually making his eligibility then nothing we will get at all that we are not at all eligible to get diksha but that one quality is there that was bhakti no thakur writing in kirtan and he is speaking that in that in his life he has got 100% sharnagati for him no kind of tension is there automatically other things will come in their life 
Definitely this statement is true. But it doesn't mean that you will misuse that. It's already written. Are okay, Maharaj, it is written. That's why actually everything Diksha is we are getting. Oh, you come, you, I'll give you Diksha. Like this. <laughs> it's already written, Maharaj. Okay, it's written. You don't have eligibility still, he will give Diksha. But it's not like that. It is just the because of the merciful Guru work they are actually giving. But that Sharanagati, if you are getting, then all other qualities definitely going to uh, automatically come. If Sharanagati is not there, then what is the use of other qualities? Sharanagati definitely is required. Only one point you have. Even you don't have eligibility, but still if you have inside that Sharanagati is there, then all the qualities definitely will be done. You are successful automatically. Every, so by Sharnagati, automatically all the things and qualities will come inside you. And inside the Krishna devotee, that all the Krishna, the qualities of Krishna definitely gonna uh, reflect. Then also similarly, I can speak with full my chest up. I can speak. I can just uh, speak in front of you with my chest up. That the actual disciple, the snik, the disciple of the Gurudev, actual Sadguru, that Siddhanta is the actual uh, deep vichar of the Siddhanta. External vichar, lot of persons. External vichar, with the external vichar, lot of persons actually are coming and taking diksha from Gurudev. That with external vichar, lot of persons are coming to Gurudev and taking diksha, they can take that. But in apart from them maybe one or maybe one it is rare one who is becoming a hero means hero means that he is becoming a topmost devotee how because about that in Bhagavad Mahapurana actually it is written Snik the Shishyaks about that Snik the Disciple I definitely gonna discuss because each and every point if I'll jump that then automatically every there, everywhere there will be darkness. What actually Raghunath Das Goswami Pada actually writing? In depth we just need to go. But it's already written in Srimad Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran. This Sharanaga, those who are Sharanaga devotees, pure devotees, that inside his heart, that topmost 100% Sharanagat is there onto the lotus feet of Gurudev, onto Guru Charan. And for himself, he is not at all taking anything for him. Like, in the Kirtan actually you are actually doing, na? a lot of Kirtan are there. In that it is written. But uh, to realize that, to realize uh, nothing is there at all. In that. Just to get realization, you are not at all getting because you don't know the actual meaning of the Kirtan. At the time of speaking Kirtan, you can speak very easily, but to, you should realize the Kirtan, that is very important. This or that thousands, thousands, thousands of persons are actually coming to Gurudev, that, oh Gurudev, you do creep on me. But in the life of who, which person, that topmost 100% Sharanagati is there towards Gurudev, that he is not at all thinking of himself at all. Just by speaking this, uh, it, we find it very good to speak. It just by speaking is very easy. But if some parmana is very less, are why you haven't given me parmana? <laughs> just talk, infighting will take place. That's it. That's it. <laughs> there is one fighting that uh, in uh, in kirtan some fighting is there. In uh, prasadam there is fighting. It's like that they are all the time uh, taking birth just to do fighting, not to do bhajan at all. <laughs> So they are just uh, have just taken birth to do fighting. That's it. That's why they are fighting from their birth. So what to do? Just by speaking, it's look very good. But with realization, no realization they want.
in the kirtan it is written kirtan in this kirtan in punjab they are actually listening i am actually just started laughing lot of kirtan they used to uh, speak nicely but realization is not at all there no realization is there just by speaking we are finding it very nice oh so nice <laughs> just by speaking we can find it very well <laughs> but no realization just by speaking we find it very easy very nice but when you are doing it practically then you are finding it very difficult then you can understand oh very difficult then only you can realize what it is just by speaking externally is very easy so that's why that mantra when you are making this vichar the prabhupada speaking that or onto the lotus feet i am doing atma samarpan self surrender that who gonna 100% give me topmost absolute mangal that kind of topmost eligibility he has that power to give that power to me those who are 100% that give me absolute mangal who is not at all giving me that absolute mangal it means ready means that we don't have that eligibility then definitely i am not going to go i am not at all ready to do sh- atma samarpa self surrender on to his lotus feet but nowadays modern civilization everything is just gurudev is actually doing the towards surrender towards his disciple <laughs> the prabhupa speaking that they are actually just doing servantship of the disciple whatever they want they will provide but sadguru like shri lakeshav goswami maharaj one time maharaj up till what point i can speak param puja pad ke shubh ko swami maharaj one time he was actually going away and at the time afternoon time he was actually do going for out some for some seva and he is actually some very nice song is going some news or something is actually coming from some side and he is thinking of from where it is coming kesho ko sir that from the press it is coming or press there is some radio going on okay radio is going on okay he went there and keshav goswami was just standing there in the press and he is just all every become just just kicking on the radio tak and just the radio got broke into pieces and after that he can he just went away <laughs> that kind of uh, pure guru vishnu that kind of uh, sashan if you are actually have that power to accept that then that disciple only is actual disciple that kind of self surrender that sharnagati you have that then definitely he will get that uh, eligibility and successfulness in his life one time uh, krishna nagar some two to two, two three devotees were going and he were my they are my god brother they are actually speaking i will not speak their name in front of you they actually went to krishna nagar and they are actually speaking to uh, gurudev actually just sent them to krishna nagar for some seva and uh, when they are actually coming back what they done that in some godiamat they just went and uh, they are just become late and mara speaking are how much what time i have to send you and you have just gone this time actually he is speaking that i have just uh, uh, gone to your brother to that godiamat and after that what happened oh my god 3 days that they just done uh, fasting no prasadam for them at all and only with water and uh, cow dung they are actually washing their mouth so much strict keshav goswami maharaj is you can't even imagine those who are actually doing the actual uh, servantship of disciple they are actually the actual uh, enemy of the disciple they are the actual enemy that uh, on to the spiritual platform actually i'm speaking if in the material platform also that family life also you can see that child father mother everyone is there here also that uh, strict uh, rules and regulation should get apl- applied so that if it is not at all applicable then that's why this condition is actually going on in at present what you can see that up till 5 years just give lot of love to him and just to give him and after that you just need to give strict regulations hey what you are doing like this with full strict regulations and rules otherwise the children will get out from your hand and and when is uh, the child is getting grown up to 16 years then he is just like your friend that you have to do like this 
otherwise we'll just be doing all rubbish just by fighting with him he had the 20 years also uh, father used to just uh, beat us but nowadays the whole uh, civilization is changed modern civilization is totally changed from the previous one so the prabhupada used to speak that actual diksha and so called diksha that uh, so called diksha and actual diksha that so called diksha and actual diksha there is lot of difference lot of difference is there it looks like all the same externally but it's not the same at all that actual diksha when when it is possible actual diksha actual diksha is possible when that with when guru and disciple they are actually getting uh, the uh, togetherness like togetherness means that actual disciple who is actually topmost absolute tattvigan he is actually becoming mad just by hearing that oh bhagwan you do kripa so that i can understand so this kind of guru also you will get those who is actually in the shastras it is written that kind of guru is very rare to find what actually written that kind of disciple who will hear that ascharya topmost that gurudev who is full of tattva gyan that kind of tattva who will actually speak that kind of power nobody is having to speak that kind of tattva that tattvaadi he can be there but tattva is very rare to get tattvaadi we can be there means that he can be a very good lecturer good orator like a politician but in his life those who have already getting realization each and every word or he is speaking that in his own life he is getting realization and giving all with full acharan he is realized that point whatever kind of uh, uh, archan acharan he is doing that is called acharan shil acharya otherwise nothing he is he is tattvaadi that's it very very difficult it is very very difficult like this kind of guru we can't find at all who can give me the topmost tattva gyan with that realization of tattva gyan absolute tattva gyan like bhagwan actually speaking to brahma ji that kind of topmost mystery that you with full realization that kind the mystery is also having that uh, other uh, explanation but i don't have time to just give you the explanation what is that mystery what is the secret that with his own shakti what kind of relationship we are having with that shakti that is actually uh, the actual mystery or tatva a lot of things are there so that kind of vakta that kind of vakta we cannot find in this whole material world who actually in the spiritual transcendental world that kind of tattva gyan of the transcendental world with full realization he can tell us very rare to get if we can get okay we can we are we have already got but still in order to accept him they, that kind of acceptance of that tattva gyan that of more and more rare to accept that is not at all possible and in gita bhagwan already told that why why our bhajan in this bhajan samaj this kind of condition is there who is actually responsible for all this why today in the today that in our bhajan rajya this actually is the actual condition that who actually want to be thrown away to the house he is actually taking sanyas you see those who want to get if i am, if i was there you just go away go away to your house and just take get married and just get grasthi and you can get some child and get some progeny what is your actual use here in the mat this kind of persons they are actually getting sanyas now you see now are, this is the actual present condition for this who is the actual uh, actually responsible they are only responsible for it who is responsible for that they only will gonna get the actual result at the time of uh, at the time of taking birth and after leaving this body definitely they have to get the reaction of the what they are doing nobody gonna save them at all they will definitely have to get the reaction of this why because they are doing all wrong they are actually going everything doing all against the shastrik injunctions for that kind of guru we just need to throw it away lekin kun 
बट हु विल एक्चुअली एक्सेप्ट दैट वैन भगवान हिमसेल्फ स्पीकिंग इन गीता वैन गीता इन भगवान भगवान स्पीकिंग इन गीता हिमसेल्फ भगवान की इन गीता हिमसेल्फ स्पीकिंग दिस पॉइंट भगवान इन गीता हिमसेल्फ स्पीकिंग दिस पॉइंट भगवान ने गीता ने खुद बताया भगवान हिमसेल्फ स्पीकिंग इन गीता दिस पॉइंट ऐसा हालत दिस इज द एक्चुअल कंडीशन वॉट टू डू That in the life of those persons, that sharnagat is not at all there. No other shacharan, nothing is there at all. For that, to take that, what is the use? That Bhagwan strictly prohibited. Bhagwan actually speaking, that only one tattva with that topmost Mahapurush Sadhu we are actually getting. But Bhagwan is actually giving this kind of instruction and upadesh that. That onto their lotus feet, if you are Sharnagati, onto the lotus feet of Sadguru. That be sure about it. That Pranipat and Pariparshna, Prakrishna Sharnagati, Pariparshna and Seva. By all these three points, that Tatvijan inside our heart can stay, and that in Gita Pravachan. by the kripa and mercy of krishna that for 6 weeks that shloka i was actually discussing by the pure guru vishnu of kripa and bhagwa bhagwan kripa i actually have discussed that but nobody actually wants to accept this idam te na pat idam te na atapas kayo na bhaktayo kada chano na cha susabe bacham na cha mam jo abhashya What actually Bhagwan speaking here? That this is the actual Upadesh of Gita. Gita means Gita is the actual summary. Actual summary. Gita Upadesh means that mantra Upadesh will also come in that only. If Gita Upadesh is actually strictly prohibited to give, you are you are not understanding what I am speaking. If Gita Upadesh, if it actually is prohibited to give, then mantra Upadesh is also prohibited. Definitely, it will also get prohibited. Gita Upadesh, Gita Upadesh is also we can't give. So where I can instruct about Krishna mantra if that instruction of Gita is prohibited. That about both of the things I will definitely gonna talk next week in about Gita Pravachan. That up till six weeks, this shloka by the kripa of Bhagwan, I have just discussed that in Gita Pravachan about this. If you are not at all being careful, then your uh, condition will get more and more worst. Day by day, the day by day, the uh, it will becoming worst, and in the coming days, it will become more worst. So this kind of instruction in the life of those who are not at all having tapasya. Tapasya means that sochata, purity, ekadashi, etc. This vrat they are not at all following, and to just get early morning there to getting to just get full purity life, full full of purity, and with the body, speech, and mind, with full purity, you are actually maintaining etiquette. But who will actually just understand all this? Next week I will be just discussing. In the coming week I will be discussing. That bhakti ki those who don't have any kind of asta and sharnagati onto lotus feet of Guru Vishnu, don't instruct them. Those who those who don't want to hear that all those kind of demons and asuras who are having uh, no bhav at all, and those who are actually just uh, uh, just finding faults in us, for them also this instruction and upadesh is not at all there. To whom we will speak about that? I will just speak next week. Definitely. Today I have to just give rest. Up till today, it's very much important. Just forgive me for that. Lot, I, lot of things I want to speak, but still I am unable to speak. I am actually unintelligent. I'm foolish. So, like this is the condition. What to do? So, manushanam sahasreesu kshit jatati siddhaye jatatam apisidhyanam kshit mamvetti tatataha. वाचकल्पतरुष्य कृपा सिंधु पतितान पावन भो वैष्णव्यो नमो